you read the poem and it, it can be fun, um, but the poem stays, once you're done with it, 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 it stays there on the page, but you, know, you, you write this poetry that um, the poem doesn't stay on the page. It, once you read it, it's in you and it walks around inside of you. And you know, I think about, uh, about stairs, I, uh, the book of fly, moth song, moth song. That's that, one of my ultimate favorites. Oh, yeah. that's, that, that poem is, um, oh, it's so haunting and it's so thanks. sad and sweet. Yeah, thanks. That, that's ex and when I wrote it, I was like, wow, thanks. Thank you, Lord. This is, this is really a nice one, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's thanks. not a poem that you can, you can interact with, you know. Uh, it, it doesn't stay there on the page. You read it. It's now, it's in you. That's it. That, You've been that's changed my hope. by yeah, the that, that's what, and that's what, Yeah, that's what I want to do with my poetry, is that like, if I'm writing about like mice in a field, I want, I want to do it in a way that the next time you think of mice in a field, you know, it's kind of, it, it, it's changed a little bit because of the poem. Right? And that's, mm, yes. that, that, that's so, hopefully, hopefully at, at our best as poets, that's what we can do. When we sit down and we talk about the, the subtext and, and, and what do the tentacles actually mean? At what point do you know in your draft? Do you know when you sit down, like I, I know you talked a little bit about like you get the idea, it's in your head and all of a sudden you're like, okay, I got it. And you, you go, once is that while. meaning yeah, present? Once in a while it's that like that. Yeah, well, once in a while it's like that. Well, once, in a while I, once in a while, I mean like sometimes I, I have a real explicit uh, idea of what the uh, subject is at the beginning. And I think that can be a little bit of a challenge. Like I'm, I'm doing one on giant ants. And I've kind of rewritten it a few times, you know, you know like, like the movie Them or something like that. Yeah. But, um, See, I've got this idea that, that there's, there's something kind of flawed about postmodernism. I've kind of got some ideas of what, what's flawed about it. But if you look back, it's sort of like radiation uh, affecting our culture, the way, the way radiation made these. So, so the giant ants are, are sort of symbolic of, um, I think, you know, destructive, um, the, the destructive ass. I think a lot of postmodernism is lovely, but some of it's really mm -hmm. destructive. And um, mm -hmm. But so, but see, but, but sort of going into it like that, it's like all, it's like, it really becomes kind of like, okay, how do I hide this? Yeah, uh, you sub, have a subtext? message. How do, I hide, how do I hide my messages I write about? And that, that's a lot harder. If I'm just kind of vaguely aware of my messages, but I got my main storyline, and if I can run through like that, then that's kind of the best. I like the, like the, like the moth song. Um, what is the subtext of moth song? Well, it's about your mortality or my mortality. It's it's yes. like it's like you know we we've got this huge cosmos and 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 we love it, but you know and we have these adventures, but but then we're know, we're like we, oblivious. We, 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 like, we fade away, you know. Yeah, yeah. The moth is oblivious to its own mortality. We become yeah. more and more conscious of it as you yeah. as you go through that that poem. That's a nice um, point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's yeah. Just, you're right about that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he slides off and doesn't really realize he's sliding off. What's going on? Yeah, like he's thinking about the victory. He's thinking about, you know, you're not going to believe us. And it's just, it, it, it just, it, it grips you. It, it, it. <laughs> thank, you thank you so much. I, I want to mention, um, there's a poet that Jeannie, uh, Ber or F.J. Bergman, uh, sent me a book to review a few years ago. I've forgotten the title of it, but it was Mary Soon Lee's uh, first book. And it was that, uh, the, the one, it was a real, it was almost, novel kind of epic adventure but it was done in lyric poems and uh, mm. i'm a huge I, and i wrote a i wrote a very um praising you know um very very upbeat review of it and um and uh and, and uh she and she does i mean what i love about her stuff is that she takes this, i mean this idea of like okay you don't really bury I mean, you don't really have like four adjectives or whatever you try and sort of say it really simply and plain and, and don't you don't leverage a lot of metaphors except maybe if you do maybe it's like maybe like the last stanza of the poem when you sort of give okay here's the big metaphor guys and 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 sort of like you know people just chew on that you don't you don't load up uh you don't load up for the poem make it really complicated but she but she's mm -hmm. got that she's got a very subtle voice and a, and a beautiful way of uh uh doing subtle things with her with her poetry mm -hmm. so i'm yeah. a huge fan she's become just huge in the field and i'm a huge fan of hers yeah, she's she's amazing. She's yeah, she's, she is. She's a force. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm yeah. I'm probably lucky that nobody nominated one of hers for push card this year. Otherwise, I I would have won. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just cut that. We'll cut that from there. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you come to these poems, and 
you already have a meaning. And the problem with that is that the meaning should be subtext. The story should be text, right? Is yeah. That yeah. And that's, that's the problem. You usually, you usually have some kind of image. I mean, so like if a person is watching this, they want to know how to write. And usually there's something strikes me. And it's usually like an image or, 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 uh, or I'll see something or, or it'll be like a thought, or maybe I'll be watching a movie or talking to my wife or something like that. And something will hit me. I was like, Oh, that's interesting. And so then I begin to explore it lyrically and try and sketch some stuff out and try and try and try and get a, try and get some, try and get a handle on it on what it is, you know? And uh, it takes me a long time to write poetry. That's why you don't see like a lot of my poems out there because it can take me months to write a poem. Yeah. I write a real, I mean, they take me, and, and the thing is like, I mean, they, and they have to sort of seem like they're just, you just wrote them out. You just dashed them out, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, um, it takes me a long time to write a poem. And I don't, I don't really write that many in the course of a year. I probably don't write. Well, I mean, I write a lot. Of, I write a lot of junk that never gets, I never send out just because, because I, I can't get it right. But, but as far as like getting poems right, I don't think I have more than, I don't know, 10 or 20 a year that I really like. And this, this is one of my all time favorite poems. And, th and th this was in, this is an FNSF um, magazine of fantasy and science fiction. And, um, mm -hmm. and it was nominated, um, by someone for the uh, for the Riesling, and this I mean I just this is a poem. I was able to really nail it in the ending, um, and it's about so so it's about it's about going to Mars, but it's really about being in someone else's life and they being in your life, and 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 how and how the different ways of looking at things kind of kind of mingle together in, in a in in a, in a couple's lives, you know, and how right. and it's like how the two become one. I mean, in a way, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and how our philosophy, even though even though the facts of the physical world don't change, that our philosophies and our psyches kind of change. And 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 and. The first draft of Martian Gardens. Did you know that that was what that the storyline was going to do? No, no. It, it's like um, the, the the best ones are when you when you discover them. You're like, oh wow, that's that. You know, when you when right. you stumble across them, those, those are the best ones. And um, yeah. I was writing it, and I was sort of coming to that point. I mean, a lot of it was flowing. A lot of it was just coming. I mean, like, you know, when you're, when you're writing your poems, that the ones that are really nice that you really like, it's almost like you're hearing them. You know, it, it's almost it, you're more than you are writing them. I mean, and so, um, so I was, I was getting all these cool lines, like, um, like there was a line there about the, about the elk and bison in the caves of Avignon, you know, and it's like, wow, it's like, wow, yeah, that's cool. And everybody, where, you know, it's like, where's this thing going? And so I, but I was kind of stumped. I'd written it all out in the first draft and uh, but I had that the ending was maybe six or seven lines long it was just kind of wordy and mealy and not really not really too good and I, so my wife you know she goes what are you doing I said well I'm writing this poem and let me read it to you and I said but the problem is I need this I need to I need an ending that snaps you know I mean I really think you have to end your poems crisp yeah. I mean if you don't know I mean I mean because readers work. readers judge a poem by by, by how it by how mm -hmm. it ends by how it yes. tastes in their mouth when they're finished you know, he, eating it, you know, and, uh, yes. and, and so you want to end it really nicely. So, so they can like, Oh, that was cool. I mean, that's, that's how they judge a poem. And that's how I judge a poem. And, yeah. and so, I, and, and I said, so I told my wife, and I said, here's the problem. I, this is what he's trying to, and this is what he's trying to say. And then I just said it. I just, so I just, I was like, Oh wait, hold on, hold on. And then, so that, then I, <laughs> I wrote it down a while before I forgot, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, yeah. Like a magical and, uh, sounding board there. Yeah, it was really nice. I sent it to Ted. I, I, I used to do, I don't do this too much anymore, but I sent it to Ted. I, was, I had a good one. I think, hey, what do, you, what do you think of this one? You know, to get a little praise back from him. And, um, right. And he goes, why well, send it to poetry? He goes, and so I did, of course. And then, of course, they were like, 